What's everybody? What's up, everybody? Um, if you don't know, you're new to the channel. Um, I'm Drew the Roofer. Uh, all the videos that have been posted on this account have been about roofing, and that's pretty much about it. Um, roofing's my job. It's my passion. Uh, at one point, I will own the company. Uh, so I, all the videos you've seen is kind of me just after doing it for eight years, the knowledge I've gained, the way I learned how to work, the work ethic, the way we install felt, shingles, tile, tearing off, the systems that go in and the little details and all that cool stuff that people enjoy. You know, I was posting videos for about a year, maybe a little over a year, um, and then you know, life happened so suddenly. Uh, about a month ago, went into the ER for a little bit of a gastric issue, like acid in your stomach and stuff like that, or like GI tract. And went to the ER. They gave me some medication. Was there for about ten hours. Gave me some pills and like a liquid to take home to help it out. Since that day, twenty-one days later. Um, got a sore throat, um, was feeling fatigued for those 21 days, wasn't able to really eat for about six days because of the stomach always feeling bloated, um, and then, shoot, that got taken care of quick, right back to eating, right back to, you know, living, not really going to work. I was doing repairs here and there and selling still, so, you know, I was still functioning, and it got to a point where... I was just too tired, um, would go home, just want to sleep and rest and kind of stay in my room and stuff like that. Got a sore throat, left the window open, um, and the sore throat lasted about four or five days. Woke up one morning, thought I had a loogie in my throat, hocked it up, blood, and shock, threw it off my hand. Um, of course, first reaction I had is, well, I need to tell my parents Went to the kitchen, told my dad, and drank a cup of coffee, and he's like, you need to tell your mom. Went in my parents' room, told my mom, and she says, hey, you know, this is no joking matter. Let's get you the ER. Like, all right. So, you know, I spit up blood for three spits, not like three days or three hours, three splits, very little, and then it stopped. I was hocking up just mucus, green mucus, like mocha was like, like normal. And so we went to the ER. We thought we were going to be in and out of there. That day, they were just going to give me some, like, antibiotics or if I had, like, a little, you know, sore throat, a little flu or something. But testing negative for COVID and all that stuff. And so it happens to be that my white, red hemoglobin, which is your blood cells, and my platelets, which makes up the blood cells and the white, red blood cells, the platelets are called in your bone marrow if you didn't know, was extremely low. Um, got admitted to the hospital um, in Temecula Valley. And we thought, oh, maybe they're just going to put me on some medication, you know, nothing too serious. Got into a room, an emergency room, my own Salakuta room. They gave me some steroids to help me out. Cured the sore throat within like an hour because it's a steroid, so it helps you out. Um, back to eating, back to, you know, doing the normal things. Got admitted to the room, an actual room there. Um, every room there is a single room. It's a private room. Got admitted. Um, I was still feeling weak and stuff like that. It took a lot of blood for me. Because, you know, they got to find out. They got to run their test and make sure I'm okay and all that stuff. So got to a point where my levels were running low. Um, I got a blood transfusion because of how I was reacting. Um, got four platelet transfusions, which helps build your white and red and hemoglobin blood cells. Um, it went up, you know, it was going up consistently going down, but the reason why it goes down because it's fighting, you know, infection and stuff like that. Went down, went up, went down, went up, and then slowly just started, kept going up, which was great. Uh, everything I was hoping for. Um, and then we got a prognosis that it could be leukemia. And at that point, it broke down with my parents. And, you know, it's 
everybody knows leukemia and, you know, cancer and stuff like that to be maybe not bad, but very tragic. Very, everybody thinks the worst. And so did I. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Broke down. I told my parents, like, why me? I don't want to die. I'm only 25, if, so everybody knows. So I'm quite young. And um, I'm like, I don't want my life to end. I'm young. I still got a lot of stuff to do. Make more YouTube videos. Help people out. Tell them about my career and stuff like that. And in the matter of a month, life has completely changed. So, you know, now got transferred to Zion, San Diego. I'm in an oncology unit. Got a bone biopsy, which is how they find out if you have leukemia, because leukemia is a blood cancer. It's in your blood cells, so all over your body. Um, came back preliminary, which is like what they think, what the doctor, the oncology doctor here sees, because she can see the bone marrow. And she says, hey, you got AML. She gave me information about it, which is called acute myeloid, acute myeloid leukemia, which is kind of like the, pre, pre, not premium, but premature or beginning of leukemia. You know, it's the beginning of it. So she said, and she's like, it could be wrong. It could be rare that the people that do the actual bone marrow test can come back and say, hey, this is not it. But like she says, it's a very rare case. A very rare case. Um, you know, I held on to the hope, as my family did as well. Uh, that Friday, we found out that it was confirmed. I did have AML. Um, she just laid it on me and said, hey, I want to start chemo right away. I want to get this out of you and get you going and get you on with your life and you know at that point you're like you're scared you're shocked and you can't really do too much because at this point you can't fight it yourself um so you know it's like all right let's get after it let's get it done there's no no messing around now and they got me in this room where i'm at now the last couple of videos so here i am this is what i'm hooked up to this is the chemo and i've done this is day two of it so I've had two IDAs which is a push chemo push medication and get it pumped into me and this what I'm hooked up to right now if you can see that is the actual chemo which is this bag right there and it's hooked up to me 24 7 it drips at a rate of over 24 hours I'll be on that for seven days I'll be on the IDA for three days so a total of seven days for everything to be completed. Um, and then I'll be taken off of it. And then that's when the chemo starts attacking. And, you know, I got to just think, be positive and keep going. Um, I don't want to be negative or anything like that. No sympathy. And, you know, I'm just kind of making these videos to document my journey. And, you know, on the road to getting better, which is always good. Stay positive. Even if you're out there and you don't got leukemia and you just feel sick, you'll get through it. You know, just put your mind to it, get through it, keep going, fight it. And if you feel like you, you know, the sickness or even your mental frame is bringing you down, you're having little mental, not mental issues, but mentally you're, you're struggling. Um, stay positive, you know, keep, keep going, keep pushing. If you're in a dark place, write it down, talk to somebody and keep going, you get through it no matter what, you know. It's always possible. Everybody can do anything they want as long as they put their mind to it. And I strongly believe that now. Because um, up to this point, I'm supposed to be feeling some symptoms, knock on wood. I haven't felt any. Um, so I'm being positive. I got strong support with you guys on the channel. Strangers, subscribers, new followers, you know. My family, friends, and everybody. And, you know, you just got to keep it that way. You know, stay active, stay positive. But, hey, you know, I'm on day two. Um, nothing much has really changed. I still eat. I still poop. Still pee. Still normal Still normal. Drew the Roofer. You know what I mean? I'm not going to give that up. I'm still going to, once I'm done here, out of here, beating it, kicking its ass. You know, I'm still going to try to post as 
many videos I can about roofing or maybe fishing, hiking, you know, just change, you know, a little, a little format of a YouTube channel. Because I know right off the bat I won't be able to do roofing right away, but I can still sell. And kind of give you guys that format of switching from working and doing the hard labor to kind of behind the scenes of getting the jobs and the process of us, of you seeing me actually doing the work. So I'll give you videos of me selling. If I get the job, how we plan it, how we do it, and then the work. So it'll kind of be like a whole step routine and the whole routine of how a process works from literally selling to collecting and everything in between, which is pretty cool. I won't be out there roofing, but I can always stop at the job, record a few clips, you know? And right now is a really busy time because it's winter. Winter here in California, we're getting a lot of rain, a lot of flooding and stuff like that. So, you know. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, um, thank you for everybody that's commented, uh, the new subscribers. Um, everybody from Florida, LA, Canada, um, around the world, in the United States for posting those really great comments. You know, I read it. I'm going to respond to every single comment. Um, videos going to be uploaded every day around this time because they change the bag at 5 o'clock p.m. California time. So, you know, I'm trying to upload videos because, you know, I still got visitors and stuff like that. So, everybody's kind of gone now and I got some alone time before my immediate family comes back and you know keeps me comfort and talk and stuff like that so yeah these everybody stay safe love love your loved ones give them hugs how you love them enjoy life um and never give up never give up keep keep on keeping on um we'll get through this and matter of no time, roofing videos will be coming up for you guys and good content and all that cool stuff. But until now, here's the documentation documentation of my journey. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, hopefully this can help somebody in the future or now or, you know, just maybe my positive attitude help somebody. I don't know. I just feel like I need to make these videos and kind of just put it out there. And if it helps somebody, it helps, it helps one person, great. You know what I mean? All right, guys, stay safe. Peace, love, and until the next time, keep roofing, keep doing your construction, and stay after it. Peace.